Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Maths, and today we're going to learn about combining like terms, <clears throat> and we want to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, negative 3x minus 9 plus 15x. So, negative 3x minus 9 plus 15x. All right, so what I first want to do is rearrange, use the commutative property, Right, community property, rearrange to get up my like terms next to each other. Negative 3x, then I'm bring a 15x to a plus 15x minus 9. Okay? Well, at this point here, all right, I can I can tell it's gonna be a 12x, negative 3x plus 15x, but with some practice, you know, you, you can get there, and I, I hope a lot of you are already. But some people might not be. So again, I'm going to use the commutative property to rearrange the 15 and the minus 3x, all right? And know that that minus 3x, that's kind of like a plus a negative 3x. That's going to help us here. So a commutative property is 15x plus a negative 3x. Be careful with that. Minus 9, okay? So now I have 15x plus a negative 3x. Well, that's the same thing as 15x, but like minus 3x, right? Hopefully you're seeing that. 15x minus 3x is just 12x minus 9, and that is our final answer. There's no other like terms to combine. So again, let's recap. We started with negative 3x minus 9 plus 15x. We rearranged it using the commutative property, put the negative 9 down here and 15x right there, and kept the minus 3x out front. Well, I made that minus 3x be like plus a negative 3x, so I use the commutative property again. It might be easier to see that. So I rearranged 15x plus a negative 3x, and hopefully that was easier for you to see, uh, seeing that also 15x plus negative 3x is the same thing as, right, 15x minus 3x, right? A little side note here, right? That's what we did here. You get that 12x in case you, you know, missed it. Um, and so our final answer here is that 12x minus 9, bringing that 9 down, 